Right. So to recap from the last uh, video, right, we we had this result, which was <coughs> for some inscribed angle, which we call x degrees, right, it produces an arc along the circle, which we would call that y degrees. And the relationship between the two is that the arc is twice the inscribed angle. right? So y is 2 times x. <coughs> right. So we have this circle here. And we want to find the measure of arc HML. So let's color code that. HML would be that arc there. Okay. And so we can see that that arc uh, subtends uh, this angle right here, angle HKL. <coughs> right. And so because we have the measure of that ins inscribed angle, 109 degrees, right? we can use this relationship to find um, the measure of the arc, right? We just double the inscribed angle, so that'd be 218. Okay, so we'll go ahead and label that here, 218 degrees. Okay. Uh, all right, we also want to find um, the measure of angle HJL, so let's use, I don't know, I guess green for that. Okay, so that angle HJL would be right here, H. J L. <coughs> okay. But you'll notice that that angle is associated with the exact same arc, right? Because these um, these chords here, right, have the same endpoints. H is an endpoint of the H and L are endpoints of the green angle, and H and L are endpoints of this pink colored angle, and so they have the same arc that subtends them. Okay, um, so then we can determine, just divide this by 2, and we would get that angle HJL is also 109 degrees. Okay. We'll write it in green, 109 degrees, right? has the same uh, intercepted arc as angle HKL. <coughs> 